this is a follow-up to the last video about making the 5c collet nut for this grinding fixture and I've got it together here and I'm got my arbor dialing it in I'm using the uh, gauge amplifier mainly for the video was I just couldn't get a good position on the indicator so this works fine I'm on the lowest resolution and I'm just starting to get it dialed in it looks pretty good on the meter but it's actually not because this is uh, 300 microns on the scale so it's still reading pretty high but that's okay I'm getting it dialed in and I also need to position my pinch roller uh, protrusion from the v-block so I'm just looking what I've got there's quite a bit of run out there um, I don't know three So that's reading maybe what four on the scale so uh, 40 micron uh, one and a half thousand something like that put on my temporary drive belt Yeah, maybe it's not quite four. Maybe maybe it's three. So thirty, maybe thirty micron. So I'm just positioning it here uh, on the grinding wheel, and this is a little close for comfort. Of course, I want it to be as have the the minimum protrusion that I can get, but that's a little bit too close. Yeah, a little bit. I need another eighth of an inch or so. Well, I had this off, and I've had it on and off and in and out and assembled and disassembled many times. I was kind of curious how much it weighed because it's uh, it's a chunk so my postal scales sitting here I thought I'd just find out yeah hello to you too So almost 27 pounds, and that is twelve kilograms. So yeah, it's got some gravity to it. Goodbye. So back here, we'll get it, we'll get it positioned back out, and then zero, zero it out. And after quite a bit of time trying to zero it out, I'm not having much success. And over the course of uh, several hours, believe it or not, I managed to have this thing apart and back together and broken down and, you know, honing all the contact surfaces, measuring and going through quite a, quite an operation in order to get it to the point where I could uh, feel good about it. 
but it was the, the best I could get it was about a thousandth out of uh, out of concentricity and that's not acceptable on a unit like this this should be um, much better than that should be much better than a tenth a ten thousandth of an inch but I'm having a hard time doing it finally after many hours of work I finally got it dialed in to the point where uh, I'm getting getting a total run out of somewhere under maybe half a thousand so you know around two micron and it's capable of better than that but for what I'm doing here this is more than sufficient I should have mentioned that if anybody doesn't really want to watch all this, go to the last uh, maybe couple minutes of the video, and that's where the grinding process will take place. It doesn't take very long to do the grinding. Like cooking, the preparation is what takes all the time. Okay, now the run out on the actual pinch roller. Is somewhere over a thousandth. Uh, a thousandth and a couple of tenths, maybe three. Okay, so at the grinding wheel, set up. All I do is I chalk up the wheel and basically remove the chalk is kind of my procedure. I'm having a little trouble with the chalk on this because this wheel's glazed and it's not really sticking. The chalk's not sticking. Most of the time I'll scrub these before I ever go to the grinding process and so the chalk sticks, but in this case I didn't because I knew it needed grinding. So I, I know what I'm looking for, but it's still helpful to chalk it. It's not just for the video. I do this routinely. Now I'll also get my face in there with magnifying glasses and watch the process. All right, that's what I can get. I'll just slowly take it in. And slow it down here so you can see it a little bit clearer. Okay, and there it's starting, just kissing the outside of it. And there you can see the eccentricity, that thousandth of run out. I'm just sneaking up on that chalk. You can also see the glaze underneath the chalk. And now you can see the glaze without the chalk. So I've got to go a little bit deeper than just the chalk on this roller to get it all out. And there it is. Now I'm just going to run my thumbnail on it and see if it's grabby. That's a technical term, <laughs> but it, um, you can tell a lot just by running your thumbnail on it. That feels pretty good. And then I mistakenly touch it <laughs> with chalk on my hand. So I got to clean that off. And that's my procedure for surfacing 
uh, cassette pinch rollers with the radius on them. And uh, if you like this video, you know, please uh, don't hesitate to like or leave a comment. That's how I know that my effort filming this stuff is uh, meaningful to somebody. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.